if you want to understand the law of reflection, then stay tuned. Don't forget that this video has a corresponding lab with free teacher notes. See the link in the description. So today we are looking at the law of reflection. So I've got a mirror. Yeah. Right? Now, when you have a look at your picture, this black line at the bottom is a mirror, and this line here is called the incident ray. Okay, so the line going into the mirror is called the incident ray. And the line going out of the mirror is called the reflected ray. So if I do this, I'll put it down there so we can see it. So, they're the two rays. And if you have a look at the picture here, there's a dotted line that goes up through the center. Do you see that? Okay, that's called the normal line. All right, so there's a line that goes out from the mirror. If you start at the mirror, it goes exactly out from the mirror that way. Does that make sense? Okay, so the law of reflection says, if this is the incident ray, and this is the normal line, and it says the angle here will be the same as the angle over here. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit complicated. It's okay if you don't get it, all right? So, we are going to prove that the law of reflection is true. But before we do that, you guys fill out the hypothesis, okay, based on what we've just said. Okay, what do we see, guys? Lots of squares. Okay, do we, now I want you to point out the incident ray. This one, this one. Okay, everyone's good. Now, where's the reflected ray? So, there's the reflected ray. Okay, then now. This is also the reflected. That's right. How there's many reflected? Two there's two reflected rays. Okay. And is there another incident ray? Yeah. yeah. Where's the other incident ray? Here. That's right. Okay. So, there's an incident ray here because it goes into the mirror. Is this one coming out of the mirror? Yes. It's, so it's reflected, but what's it also doing? Going into a mirror. It's also going into the mirror, so it's right? So both. So it's both, right? So that ray is actually both. Okay, here's, here's what you guys are going to do. To test the law of reflection, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to trace these lines, and then you're going to draw the normal line and use a protractor and test the angles. Okay, so here's the second thing we're going to look at. We're going to look at something called the law of internal reflection. All right, what is internal reflection? Well, if I get this laser, and I poke it up through there, can you see the red line? Yes. Yeah. Where's it going? Through the water. Straight up through the water, right? But if I start to bend it, where is it now? There it is, bouncing off the table. Can you guys see it inside the water? Yes. I can see yeah. two lines. What's it doing it. inside the water? It's oh, bouncing. It's, off the it's hitting the top of the water, and then what's it doing? Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing back. back down. In fact, you can see it there on the table, right? Okay, so let's go outside and let's do our experiment. Okay, for this experiment you'll need basic old laser. 
two liter bottle, plastic bottle, and you want to drill a pea sized hole in the bottom and you try to make sure it's as round as possible with as least amount of rough edges as possible to get a nice stream. I can stick my finger in there, I can't stick it all the way through, but you can see it's nice and round. I've got some tape around there as well, kind of help me when I'm aiming the laser. Do you see the little red dot? Yeah. yeah. Okay, see how it's right in the middle of the hole? Yeah. Okay, so that means when I pull that tape off, where's the laser beam going to go? Uh, on the garage. Okay, it's going to, well you think it's going to go straight out, right? What's going to happen? The water stream's going to come out and it's going to go down like that, right? Where's the laser beam going to go? Go with yeah. it. Why would it go with the water? Alex, what did you have, have to say? The internal way, the one we just... Yes, excellent, good job. All right, everybody inside. Okay, now, on your labs, it asks you, what did you see? What was happening to that red light? What did you see that red light do? Did it go out and hit the garage door? No. No, what did it do? It stayed in the water. It stayed in the water. You can write that. Why did it stay in the water? Because of internal reflection. Great job, Alex. Yes, that's exactly why it stayed in the water. Was that cool? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're done. Well, that's all from me, Ken Colson, here at Science for Kids with Dr. C. Look, if you were in any way encouraged or helped by this video, then please pound that like button and share on your social media platforms. You'll see a link in the description if you want to give. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.